Baby harvesting capitalistic merchandise demons. That's what I want to talk about today. Because recently, I tried to do something beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, that is the level. I made some t-shirts. And I also made a mug. Look at this. It's got my little face on it. And it says, I swear down on my nan's grave on the front. And then on the back, it says, nerve intensifies. I, I could have cleaned it before I came in here to do this. I made some merchandise because everybody was asking, when are you going to make some merchandise? So I finally did. But none of that's going to happen because of baby harvesting, capitalistic merchandise demons. And so I want to have a rant today and explain why I'm never going to do any merch. But first, and more importantly, I have to react to something. Because last week, there was some news. And when the news broke, I was busy making these two masterpieces. So I didn't have time to emotionally digest what had happened until now. Ladies and gentlemen, last week, Sky Sports F1 announced that i can't even say it i actually can't even say it that this is absolutely we used to pray for days like this i am shaking right now last week sky sports f1 announced that paul Deresta, the devil himself will no longer be commentating on formula one <laughs> I don't want to say that I am directly responsible for Paul Deresta getting sacked, but I am directly responsible for Paul Deresta getting sacked. I made a video slagging off WTF1. 36 hours later, the whole thing implodes. I spend an entire season slagging off Ferrari and Mattia Bonato. They sack him. I spend every waking moment slagging off the devil himself and Sky Sports F1 have fired him. You're welcome. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. My heart is so full of emotions right now. I don't know why I put these back on. They, they were... And also, it's minus 10 degrees in the shed. And I'm literally dying of hypothermia. But I'm going to plow through. Because I'm brave. Oh, I'm such a brave little girl. We, uh, we've really watered down the word brave, haven't we? You know, we used to be soldiers and paramedics. First responders were brave. Not anymore. You know who's brave? Sam Smith. They, sorry, for performing a satanic ritual at the Grammys. Let's not get into that. What was I saying? The point is... Ah, that's fire. That's actual fire on the floor. The point is, Paul Deresta has been fired. But he's not going quietly. Days after Sky Sports F1 made the announcement, Paul Dresta launches a surveillance balloon over America. Because, and we've seen this happen before. We've seen it happen when Michael Massey was sacked for doing something fun. He welded himself inside a bulldozer and went on a rampage. They had to call in the military to bring him to a stop. This is what happens to disgruntled employees. They go off the rails. Paul Deresta has launched a surveillance balloon over America. I personally believe he's trying to gather intelligence on 
the United States' nuclear arsenal so he can sell that information to the CCP. I called it a month ago. I'm telling you right now, in five years, we're all going to be speaking Chinese and it's Paul Dresta's fault. Now, that fucking bird's on the roof. Listen to him. The fucking nerve. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. I thought as much. What was I saying? Paul DeResta is an agent of the CCP. And in five years, we're all going to be speaking Chinese. And it's Paul DeResta's fault. And don't say I didn't warn you when that happens. Now, back to my merch and the evil spirits that ruined it. I was getting loads of comments from people, which is flattering, by the way. Should we read a few? Can we have rocket-powered mohawk merch that says, I swear down on my nan's grave. Please make merch. Give us a merch drop, I'm begging. Any chance of swear down on my nan's grave merch? Make some merch, you fucking scumbag. All right. You don't have to yell at me. So, I made some merch. And this was the first piece. Let me just, because I don't want to set fire to it. This beautiful little number, yeah, is a reference to the Canadian video where we discovered Lance Stroll is a fraud and his real name is Vich Tits. And now, add to that list a fraud because I recently discovered his actual name is Lance Strolovich. Fucking lying bastard, Stroll. So from now on, we're all gonna call him Vich Tits. Liar. So obviously, I put that on a t-shirt. And uh, what do you think? I can see people wearing that. Yeah, I can see the kids getting down with that. That sounded so noncy. This is a, a sample they sent me. I say they sent me, I had to pay for it. Yeah, 12 quid plus shipping. But the point is, I made a t-shirt. Now, before this fine piece hits the market, it has to be approved. That means some twat at Spreadshop, or whatever the fuck it was called, has to look at my design and approve it. And it was taking ages. Two weeks, three weeks went by, nothing. So I emailed them, and this is what they sent me back. You're going to love this. Hello, thank you for your email. Unfortunately, your design couldn't be cleared on our platform, as this may violate personal rights. What personal rights am I violating? What, what about my personal rights? What about my truth? This is just another example of the sort of discrimination I have to deal with as a strong, independent, gender-fluid, paraplegic, Abu Dhabi 2021 survivor. This is oppression, but fine. The, the design got rejected, which is dumb, because if Spreadshop had any sense, they'd understand that if that shirt hit the market, we would have sold hundreds of thousands. But because we live in a white supremacist patriarchy, a young Asian woman such as myself will never be successful. Fine. So that was the t-shirt. Then I make a mug. This was the, uh, the first draft with my face on it. And when it arrived, and again, this is a, a sample that I had to pay for. And by the way, every sample that I get is like 20 quid. So I'm already out of pocket before we've even started. But I'm trying to build an industry. So I get, I get the mug and when I see it in person, I like do, I think do people want to drink out my face? Are people want to gonna drink out my head? I, I didn't like it when I saw it in the flesh. So I redesigned the mug, and I redesigned it real simple. It just said I swear down on me nan's grave, and then on the back it said nerve intensifies. I like the design. I commit to this design, and it gets approved. Because this time, I'm doing it with a company called, what was it called, Teespring. Something stupid like that. Teespring. So I have the mug designed, approved, ready to hit the market. So then, let me just pull this up on my computer. So when I go to set the price for the mug, it's already automatically set at $16.99. It's a bit steep for a mug with fucking barely anything on it. So then... I go to take the price down to £10. 
and then look what happens. I click 10 and then it pops up with a little message at the top that says price too low for mug. I think you'll find 10 quid is a perfectly reasonable price for a mug. But all right, they're capitalistic demons. So they want you to sell it for 16.99. So I left it at 16.99. All right, I'll play the game. I hit save. And then I go to order one for myself. And here's what happens. When I get to the checkout, it says mug, $10 because I get it at cost. You're going to be paying $17. Bear that in mind. Shipping. $10 to ship it. That's absolutely disgusting. $10 for shipping is absolutely demonic. So to be clear, if you want a mug that says, I swear down on my nan's grave on it, it's going to cost you $27, which is, I mean, that's a scam. That's so obviously a pyramid scheme. So I thought, all right, fine. There's literally nothing I can do about it. I'll just, we'll hit the market and see what happens, okay? So I'm not happy about that, but I can't do anything. So then we hit the market with the mugs. And after a few hours, three people have ordered the mugs. And when people started buying the mugs, I just, I couldn't do it. I cannot, in good faith, flog people mugs for 27 fucking dollars. And yet, like, we all know YouTubers will more than happily flog their subscribers any old shit with an overblown price. That's the entire business model of the platform. But I, I can't do that because I'm not a monster. So I took the mugs down, deleted everything, and now there is no merch. And there will never be any merch. However, I figured out something even better. If you really want some merch, if you just have to have some merchandise... You're going to go on eBay or you're going to go to the nearest pound shop and you're going to buy a plain white t-shirt for a couple of quid. And then you're going to go and buy a Sharpie and then you're going to take the Sharpie and you're going to write on the plain white t-shirt, Rocket Powered Mohawk. And that's going to be the merch. Why do I have to do everything for you? Why do I have to fuck about with this? Make your own merch, take some responsibility. That's what the, the bloody, that's what the lobster shagger keeps banging on about. Yeah, take some responsibility for your own life. Pick up your responsibility. Pick up the heaviest thing you can and carry it. And the room goes quiet and everybody's eyes open. And I think, that always makes me break up. Do that. Fucking designing mugs. So there we go. There will be no official merchandise because we live in a capitalistic, sick hellscape of a society where it becomes impossible to sell people mugs. Also... To the three people that did buy the mug, don't feel like you got jibbed because you are now in the possession of, quite possibly, the most exclusive piece of YouTuber merch. So, yeah, you paid $27 for this tat, but now the mug might be worth $600,000, $700,000. You're welcome. And I, I will be expecting a cut from that. <sighs> So that's it. There will be no merch. But if you really want some merch, make it yourself. Well, else did I want to talk about? What what did we cover? Paul Deresta's surveillance balloon. Merch. Demons. Oh, part two of the award show. What happened to part... I forgot about part two. Okay? Yes, I know it's now been two months. And I've made three videos since then. Four, if you count the Patreon video. Yeah, yes, I get it. Fine. I will make part two of the award show. And when part two comes out, I don't want to hear it. Okay? I don't want to see any comments. Like, it's been two months. It's almost time for the next season. They've already revealed the next season's cars. It doesn't matter. Do you know why it doesn't matter? Because time is a social construct. Like gender and gravity. It only exists in your mind. Okay, you know that fella, Brian Cox, he said that if time was like a sheet of paper, okay, you, you can bend it. And if like one side of the paper is past the past and the other side is the future and you bend the sheet of paper in half, you, you can you can bend time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bend time and make part two of the awards. So to summarize, there will be no merch. There will be a part two of the award show. 
We live in a capitalistic white supremacist society. Sam Smith is disgusting. And Paul DeResta is an agent of the CCP. Open your eyes and goodbye. <laughs> He's not done anything massively wrong, but...